welcome back to Naturally Catholic. So today's video is gonna be a prep for homeschool video. So this year I will have a pre-Ker, a second grader, and a fourth grader. So I'm just gonna assemble all of my binders and show you guys what I plan on doing in the binder, and then I will give you a look of what I am putting in each binder for each kid. If you would like to know more about the binder system or the loop schedule or anything else that I'm doing in this video, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to do a video just on those topics alone. So here I'm just assembling my binder and in my binder I have two folders, one for important documents and then another one for print offs like, you know, coloring sheets or extra warm up worksheets that I print off for busy work. And so I'm just going to put them in this protective cover and I'm also keeping all of their answer keys in my binder as well. And then here I'm going to start assembling their books. Each binder will get a chore chart along with a flow chart, a class schedule, along with a loop schedule and a snack menu. I can go in detail later in another video about what our loop schedule, flow chart, and snack menu and class schedule looks like, but for now, that's what they're getting and I just wanted to let you know that is what we're putting in our binder. So this is actually the first time I've done the binder system. In the past years, I would sit down with my planner and I would just kind of plan out our day based off the amount of work that I wanted each student to do that day. And that's how we did school. I thought I was doing it the simple way because I really didn't have to uh, think too much about organizing it and I could keep all of their books on their desk and they had it right at their disposal whenever they needed to start school, but I wanted to try the binder system because it just seemed a little more um, organized and a little less chaotic, which is something I struggled with last year. So this year I'm definitely trying to make some changes and be a little more organized and coordinated as far as keeping their things together and um, making sure I take the time to review each subject for each kid and that's why I really love this binder system because not only do you have to stay on top of it to keep it organized, but you also go through each textbook and pull out the day, um, actually you pull out the entire week's worth of school. You can, e you can even plan up to two weeks, but I'm gonna do one week and see how that works for me. And um, it makes you actually view and review the work that they're going to be doing. That way you know exactly what to expect. Also, the flow chart in the class schedule is something that I am going to love that I've actually already been enjoying since we're starting school already um, because they're able to go back to their schedule and say, okay, so today is Monday and at 10 a.m. I know that I need to do this subject. I am allotted an hour for this subject and that subject and then after that, whatever I don't finish, I will have to um, save for tomorrow. And so that's what I really love about the binder system and um, whatever they don't finish for the entire week, they will be able to finish on Friday. So this is the part where I'm doing a little bit different than what other people I think would do. I am going to allow them the week to finish and if they don't finish on Friday, then they have to stay inside in the classroom and finish all of their schoolwork that was left behind from the week before, before being able to move on to anything fun that the family is doing, such as like family games or movie time or anything else that uh, may be a weekend treat. Okay, so now that I have all of the charts and schedules in the protective covers, I'm just going through and making sure that I am putting them in the correct order in each binder so that everything is nice and uniform. Also, something I didn't mention is the reading log that I'm gonna implement this year. So part of their daily class schedule, I do have 30 minutes carved out daily for reading. So I am gonna have them keep record and log their reading um, daily so that they can go back and see that they have read so many books and be proud of themselves. Also, it's just good to help us all stay on track, myself included. Okay, so here I'm just taking each subject and writing it in these little tabs and putting them in the appropriate slot for um, each subject. I definitely do believe that this system is going to make homeschooling a lot easier. It's going to make our days go a lot smoother and it's just going to help me stay on track because it can be hard to 
try to get everything done in the right time frame and meet everyone's needs, including like the little one who obviously doesn't know um, when I'm trying to do something, if I'm busy. So I'm excited about this system. Um, so now that I have those all written out, I am going to continue to divide them and put them into the binders. through each subject for each kid and just take out the week's worth of curriculum and place it in each section. In case you're wondering, the curriculum that we're using, we are using Seton. Um, it's based off of the St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and I've used them for about four years now. We did use Mother of Divine Grace previously, but I really just love Seton, so I find no reason to switch. I know that some may feel like it's too Catholic, uh, being that it's based off of saints and the Bible, but I just really love that, so I don't find that to be an issue for me. All right, so what's in the binder? We have a chore chart, and then after the chore chart, we have our snack menu. I thought it would be important to let the kids know ahead of time what snacks are available so they would not ask me a million times. And then we have our daily flow, our class schedule, and then the last thing we have is our loop schedule, which are the extra curriculum subjects that we will do. Also a reading log, and then it just divides into each section of whatever subject we're doing. So I only put a week's worth of um, work in our binder, but if you wanted to, you could do two weeks, but I didn't want to put too much in there in case they got confused or in case they ripped the pages and lost them. I just wanted to keep it simple and keep one week. Um, but that's pretty much it. That is the uh, binder system in a nutshell. Obviously, I could go into more detail as to how I do it and how we do it and whatnot, but I've only um, been using the binder system for a couple days now. So far, it's pretty foolproof and it's really simple and easy to follow along and I really enjoy it. I think it helps the kids to stay on track as well. So I have one binder completed and I have two more to go. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, thank you and God bless. I almost forgot to mention our morning basket. So in here I have a saint of the day book along with their first communion and their catechism. Um, we're also doing this GPS Bible in a year study and then the rosary in art, which is really beautiful. But this is what we do every morning before we break into our subjects. So I just wanted to show y'all that because that is also part of our curriculum. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. God bless.